Hey there, tech enthusiasts. It's April here, and I'm bringing you a brand new series that you're sure to love. Introducing the Copilot Chronicles. We're going to be diving deep into the world of AI copilots. What are they? What's all the buzz about? And what ones are currently out there? So let's dive in. So first things first here, what the heck is an AI copilot? Well, it first got attention back in 2021 when GitHub partnered with OpenAI to create GitHub Copilot. GitHub Copilot is like your digital buddy for navigating the world of coding. It's a digital assistant that helps you write and debug code. And the term Copilot really makes sense here. We traditionally think of Copilot in terms of aviation, where we have a Copilot that assists the pilot. Very similar to how these AI Copilots assist us, the makers, the developers, in easily creating solutions and writing code. Now, while GitHub Copilot was the pioneer in the AI Copilot space, since then, so many more AI Copilots have come about. And Microsoft has really been at the forefront of this, driving innovation in what AI can do in their products. And this goes back even before GitHub Copilot, back in 2019, when Microsoft started introducing some AI capabilities in their Power Platform suite. They started taking AI models from Azure Cognitive Services and creating pre-built versions of those that you can plug and play into your low-code solutions with AI Builder. And then we started to see things pop up like Power Apps Ideas. This was a way to use something called Prose to be able to program by example. So you could put in something like a date that comes in a certain format, tell it the format that you'd rather have that date show in, and it can produce the PowerFX code for you in Power Apps to be able to do that. So those functionalities were there before GitHub Copilot took off. But after GitHub Copilot was introduced, the concept of these Copilots in other Microsoft products took off. And that's really when we started to see these Copilots make its way into other Microsoft products like the Power Platform Suite. We saw it in Power Apps to make app building a breeze. It's like having both a design expert and a database expert there with you to help generate your data repository to store your data and suggest the optimal UI for your app, all by only describing what you want your app to do. Copilot also made its way into Power Automate to make automation a breeze by describing the automation you want and having the Copilot go recommend a structure in your flow in Power Automate to make it happen. And it made its way into Power Virtual Agents to bring more power to your chatbots. You can describe topics that you want and have the Copilot create those for you. And even seeing its way into things like generative answers by being able to bind your Power Virtual Agents bot to a website and harness the power of the technology to answer any questions that are on that website. And then we saw it in Power Pages as well. So giving us a way by describing what we want to build business grade websites, generate content with GPT for those websites, and even help generate custom themes and things like that as well. And beyond the Power Platform ecosystem, we saw Copilots make its way into Bing with Bing Chat, into Windows with Windows Copilot. And of course, making its way into the Microsoft 365 seat with Microsoft 365 Copilot. And believe it or not, there are actually 89 unique Copilots right now across the Microsoft ecosystem. Now, for those of you wondering, how do these Copilots get so smart? Let's peel back the curtain a bit on this. Many of these Copilots that we're talking about operate using something called a large language model or LLM for short. An LLM is a massive neural network that's trained on a lot of text data. So imagine feeding a machine bits of code, documentation, books, articles, and more. And over time, that model with the right training begins to understand patterns, context, and intricacies of the language. So when you use a copilot that's powered by these large language models, it's not just pulling an answer out of thin air. It's drawing from its training and trying to predict what you might need from patterns that it's seen in the past. So it's like having kind of a seasoned mentor that's reviewed thousands of articles or code or whatever you're using the model for to help you. And why these co-pilots that are powered by these large language models are extremely powerful, remember at the end of the day, they are tools. They assist and they amplify our capabilities, but always remember the real power, the real magic is you. The ideas, the creativity, the problem solving, it's the human touch in the mix that really makes this technology transformative. Because that might be something that you're thinking and a question that I hear a lot is, April, will these tools replace me as a developer? That could be a whole other topic for another video, but the short answer is no. These tools are just here to augment and make our lives easier. 
not there to replace the creativity, problem solving, and the unique flair that we bring. And what we've seen so far is just the beginning. The world of Copilots is ever evolving with new features and functionality coming all the time. So that's a wrap for our first episode of Copilot Chronicles. If you're as excited about this journey as I am, hit that like button and subscribe for more insights to come. I want to hear from you too. Drop a note in the comments and let me know, have you used any of these AI Copilots and what has your experience been so far? Well, that's all for me. And until next time, remember to keep innovating and with the right tools and the right mindset, the sky is the limit. See you next time.